Great news for Windows users. Finally, we have our Llama available for Windows with no need to use WSL. We can directly go to the Olama website, download Windows, download the Olama for Windows and start using Olama. It's so simple, so easy, and it's very exciting because it's been a while since Olama was launched and was available for Linux and Mac OS, and now Windows users can enjoy Olama as well. So the downloading is very simple. The whole process of setting up is very straightforward. You go to this link and I will share the, the links obviously in the description of the video. You arrive here, you hit the download button. I mean, you select Windows, you hit the download button. It is going to download the file and you're going to have a step-by-step -step installer like any other installation of, of software on a Windows operating system. It's going to take a, a few minutes. The next step, you just need to choose. You open the command line, you choose which model you would like to use. These are the alternatives. So let's say I want to use Mistral. So I just open the command line, hit Olama run Mistral. It's going to start downloading the model. Takes approximately, depending on your window, on your uh, internet speed and the size of the model that you're downloading, it takes approximately 10 minutes. 10 minutes and then you can get going. For more information, you can visit the GitHub repository. As you can see, a lot of stars, a lot of folks. It's a very famous uh, repository. The product is very valuable, but until now, Windows users couldn't really use it. Some use the WSL instead of, uh, I mean, waited while we were waiting for this version release, we could have used WSL. But now we have this available for Windows and this is very exciting. Let's see. It. Now, let me just show you like the alternatives, what you can do. So I open the command line, pretty straight, straightforward. I can hit run or Llama Mistral. And since I already downloaded it, it, it won't download it again. Wait a sec. Let's see, I have it here, run or Llama. Oh, sorry, Olama run Mistral. I got it wrong. Olama run Mistral. And now it's going to open the model. And I can just start a conversation. Hi. Can you write code? This is an example. Yes. And it answers, I'd be happy to help you write code. However, I, I need more, more information before we get started. Here are a few things I'd like to know. What programming lang language do you want to use? What is the purpose of the code? Do you have any specific requirements or constraints? Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not going to dive deeper into like the use cases. This is going to be in another video, but I just wanted to show you an example of running Mistral. We can also use um, vision, so or lava instead. So let's hit the control D, run or lava, run or lama, run lava 7b. This is a vision model, a model that uh, supports vision. And what we will do, by the way, once you finish. Uh, in running this command, installing, downloading the model for the first time, you can add this command, set verbose, and then you can start discussing. So in, in case that you want to download uh, the Lava model, you need to specify which type of, the amount of parameters that you'd like. So 7b was enough in my case. And then this is the command that I'm going to use to test. I have this image over here is a profile picture of myself and let's see if the lava model is able to analyze it locally let's copy paste this what is in th in this image and this is the location of the file it is adding the image the image shows a person smiling at the camera they are wearing a dark short sleeve shirt and 
have short hair. Behind the individual, there is a plain background which does not provide any additional context about the location or the event. Okay, this is amazing. Olam also offers a REST API, pretty straightforward. You can just copy and paste this code. I will also share this in the video description and you can also look in the GitHub repository for more examples about what you can do with Olama. As they also have this very helpful uh, blog post, uh, blogs with many posts about uh, vision models, the Windows preview, all the updates are being updated very often in the blog and obviously you can also visit Discord. That's it for today, guys. I wanted just to give you an update, uh, an update about this uh, because I'm very excited about starting to use Olama natively in Windows. This is a, I wouldn't say a game changer, but it's a very significant improvement for all Windows users that want to run LLMs locally. And instead of using LM Studio, which is great, you can use Olama instead, which uh, based on my experience, um, also, when I used it with WSL, it was way faster, easier to set up. And now, obviously, when you just need to download Olama and just in the command line run the name of the specific model and you can start a conversation, this is very helpful. It makes all the models very accessible and it's very exciting. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Stay tuned for the videos coming up because I'm about to upload a video that I've been working um, a few days on this automation workflow, which combines use of RPA with Autogen and Crew AI. And the results are pretty mind blowing. I'm very happy about the progress that I've been able to do with that workflow. So stay tuned. I'm going to upload a video about that in the next uh, few days. Again, that's it for today. If you have any comments, ideas for improvement of the video, of the content, and um, if you encounter any issues with the installation of Olama on your Windows machine, let me know in the comment section. Obviously, I would appreciate if you can like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, keep on automating.